What? I can try to ask the traveler if he can point us in the right direction. I mean, isn't he busy getting ready for TC? TCOM? Yeah, but I can try. Travco? Okay, yeah. I have such an intimate relationship with him. Well, maybe he's seen the switch. Maybe. I haven't asked him, have I? Don't believe you have. I haven't asked him. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I hop down off of the horse. Okay. And I set up my little, all my statues that I've made of him. You can build a little makeshift altar right there on the side of the pathway. Mm-hmm. There's a little alcove on the side of the rock where you can easily set them up, and it looks like it was, you know, intentional and probably has been there for a while. This is nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna, you know, try to uh, commune. All right, you're casting commune. Got it. Okay. I get three questions? Mm Mm-hmm. You do. And they're, yeah. As you finish arranging them in the circle, you sit down, finish, uh, part of the spell setup is you even arranging them in a way that is both uh, kind of ascending in size and geometrically placed that is pleasing to the eye. Um, But as you finish the final bits of your incantation, you feel your smile grow, and you close your eyes, and think very, very hard in the way that you do prayer loudly, and all of you guys here what she thinks might be your inside voice, but she speaks <laughs> loudly around you. Traveler, okay, so um, we are here, and I need to talk to you, um, and I miss you. Can you come? That was this. Will it be a question if I ask if you can come talk to me? Just come talk to me, please. Okay, that's not a question. Um, we're communing now. <laughs> <laughs> um, as the rain continues to fall around you, um, the vicinity that you're sitting has been getting slightly drier, or at least the, the vicinity around this, this little ritual you've set up seems to have no longer fallen under the rainfall, and there's a moment, momentary reprieve from it. As you can open your eyes and look up, you can see a green cloak blocking the rain from touching you. You see the dark hood shaded over you, and uh, do you, are, are you all watching her do this ritual? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You see emerge from the stone. What? A figure in a green cloak step from outside of the mountain and protect her from the rain. Looking down towards you, you, you can see just a faint bit of the chin from what bit of light is coming through uh, from bouncing off the ground, and you see a smile. It seems you called me, my dear. Yeah, I hope that's okay. Um, I tried to talk to you before, and um, you didn't come, so I thought maybe what um, would be better is if I actually, you know, really set it up. Oh, I've been very busy setting up for our coming event. I know, I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna need your help here soon enough. I bought so much fabric, we can make, you know, cloaks and, and outfits for everybody. Wonderful. Divine right? Sense. Okay. Divine sense? Oh. Okay, divine sense. Oh, shit. Oh. On the giant green cloak that just came out of the rock. Oh. Yeah. As oh, an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your next turn. You can sense anything affected by the house spell or another location of each celestial fiend undead within 60 also, feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. Seen this, right? Both saw the saw him gotcha. Right you do not oh, sense okay. anything. Do not sense anything. You do not sense anything. Oh, okay. not a celestial fiend undead. That's good. Not good or, or affected by the hallow spell. It's just divine sense. Let me check the hallow spell real fast. Just to double check. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't. I don't remember the specifics of it. So I want to make sure. Sense good or evil? No, it's just it's specific it's types. Types of things. Oh. Detect good and evil. Well, just maybe would be a celestial, kind of but really, if he is a deity, is Liam talking? He is. He's something other than. Wait, says so isn't anything we'll that? Says so affected. Uh, you can sense anything affected by the hallow spell. I don't know what that is. Okay. You do sense something. What does that mean? What does that even mean? What does that mean? What's wait, a hallow wait, spell? What is that? What is that? I don't know. What? What? Just. What's a hallow spell? You, 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 you sense a, a presence that kind of clicks into your attention. That's your question. 
Okay, so we are on our way up north. Do you guys see this like mm-hmm. witch lady who's like super super creepy and she put a curse on Nod? That's and terrible. I know, and she also fucked with Bo's dad. And so basically, we want to know if um, you know the best way to like get rid of that curse. Should we like talk to her? Should we attack her? Uh, as is the nature of such mysteries, I need you to ask me the right kind of question. Um, this is getting so specific. Well. Okay. I'm bound by incantations. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is not the way I should talk to you then, because I don't like you being bound. <sighs> Just ask me a proper <laughs> question, please. <sighs> what should I ask him? How should I ask this? I'm not there. Oh, Do we gosh. hear him speaking, or is it just her? Um, you guys don't hear any conversation, just her side of it. Okay, 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 okay. To break the curse, do we need to kill her? Which curse? This has several curses. I'm, he knows what curse I'm talking about. I don't know what curse you're talking about. The you curse. Okay. That is a method. Okay. Best I can ascertain. I haven't met the woman. Okay, I'm glad you told me that, because that was going to be one of my questions. But such curses, there can be many ways. Really? Don't answer that. What is the shortest route to get to her? Uh, the hood curls up a bit, and you see, like, puts a finger up in the direction, and kind of looking in all, and it crossed the path to all of you, and kind of gives a nod to the group as the attention passes over you, and points and goes, I think that might be the path you want to take, and points. Uh, there, from where you're standing, you can see it switch backs a bit, and it does split uh, at some point halfway down the mountain as the trees begin to grow more and more dense. The direction he's pointing ends up going a little further, like northwest. Okay. Um, is there anything we can do to help prepare ourselves to meet her? Yes. Oh. It's been wonderful. Oh. <laughs> and he pinches the edge of your chin. Now, I've got to get back to my work. Oh. And he vanishes. And you guys watch as the cloak kind of swirls, and then this kind of dull flash of greenish blue light is gone. Caleb Keen Mind memorizes the exact path in relation to the direction north. Fair enough. Just oh. we saw everything. That, he's real. I Real. But we heard him. Also, that's not. Oh, that's you. You no, didn't. Do we not? We, we, we saw heard him. nothing, but we saw. <laughs> so much. It felt like we heard. Yeah. Him. Did you Matt. see his mouth moving? Did well, Bo see something in Asarius? I'm trying to remember. Is Bo the only one who's also actually seen traveler I stuff? Think so, yeah. I think yeah, so. In okay, yeah. in the room. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Remember when we saw that acolyte guy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. And I was like, kind of, I will say this. Hmm. He's very handsome. Well, he was a floating cloak. You also can't see his face very <laughs> no, much, but you can tell cloak. from like I can his, tell posture. From his posture. And did you see the bottom of his chin? I saw his he, chin that time. He held himself with confidence, the way he sort of pointed and gestured, and see, like a ballerina. I know he was very graceful. Mm-hmm. And there's this one point where he like went like this. He's not that handsome. You're just attracted to mystery or something. I mean, you barely saw Who his face. Who is tra- attracted to mystery? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course I am. She's I'm, I'm not. No, I like to be. I like very upfront delivery of goods. Delivery of goods. No, no, no shady biz. I'll say this about you: <laughs> you were a lot more handsome and attractive before we knew everything about you. <laughs> 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 when you were a mysterious orphan with mysterious ties to a strange water god, that was sexy. Now you're just some. Some creeper who who uh, just what? well I, I think it was more the accent really. 
That too. Yeah. This accent what? is so plain. This might be the worst thing this everyone's ever said to me. This is it's insanely ever. harsh. Yeah, I grew up in an orphanage. Yeah. This, I think your accent now is wonderful. <laughs> so do I, but it was, I just had never, I have never heard it. I had heard that other accent plenty for it, and I like this one more. Well, maybe it's the menagerie. Have you ever seen his face? But just you I see, see it's like a the board. Time. It still yeah. doesn't change the fact well, that it's not that attractive. I saw, <laughs> Ford, you're very handsome. Saying. Not everyone can be very handsome. A centaur or whatever. Oh. Okay. It was not, not a centaur, it was a minotaur. Yeah, I got it. Whatever. Got what she meant. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw his face when I was younger. But that was when he looked like, you know, younger. And then as he started to get older, like he stopped showing his face as much. So I only know what he looked like as a kid. Mm. He was a kid when you met him? Well, yeah. Huh. He was like a couple years older than me. Well, you said it, he was sort of was whatever you needed at the time, right? Like his his appearance oh, changes. Right. Is that what you said? Old well, stories are filled with tales of the gods taking on whatever form they want. So yeah, but that I thought you sense. said something like that, or maybe Did I just I? thought that when you were telling us about him. Maybe that that's cool. what it is. I don't know. Either way, super cool so and mysterious. We know you got a direction. Yeah. That way, uh, anything else? Uh, you know, he's tricky. Um, he told me that killing her would definitely take care of the curse. He also made it seem like maybe there were other ways to take care of the curse. But killing her, solid. Um, and then they tried to ask another question and it just kind of fucked me over. So wait, that's is okay. he so tricky <laughs> tricky and trickstery that like if he said she's that way, he was tricking no, no, you? No, okay. No, no, no. Okay. No. Okay. He pulled no. one over on you, you are saying. <laughs> you know, that's the first time that like I mean I've tried that spell before, but that's the first time I really like stuck to it. <sighs> Maybe he's becoming more powerful and he doesn't have time for little spells. Hmm. Well, let's proceed on. Okay. Gather your... Oh, I leave one on the rock, so anybody else that comes along can pray <laughs> to him as well. All right. I can make so many more, I have a lot of paint. Yeah! <laughs> yeah!